time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Theme Deck Corner. I hope you guys are ready for this one because we are looking over the second of the Evolution Theme Decks, Mewtwo Mayhem. And of course, it is going to be hosted by Mewtwo himself. So Mewtwo is a Psychic type Pokemon with 130 HP. He's got two attacks, one being Psychic for two colorless energy, can do 20 damage, and this attack does 20 more damage for each energy on your opponent's active Pokemon. So if you've, your opponent needs a lot of energy to set up, this could do quite a bit of damage. You've also got Barrier for two Psychic Energies during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon. If one of your Pokemon used Barrier during your last turn, this attack can't be used again. So pretty much it is a Protect. It, if you're getting set up against real quickly, you could protect yourself for a turn to stall out, but Psychic's usually the way to go. Now, let's get on to the rest of this deck. Let's see what kind of hunky junky stuff we've got in here. We're going to be playing with some drowsy 60 HP Psychic type Pokemon with Pound and Confusery. Pound's going to cost you 1 colorless energy for 10 damage. is going to cost you 2 Psychic energy for 10 damage. That doesn't seem great, but Confusery will... Uh, actively just confuse your opponents so I don't know how I feel about that one kind of definitely filler there our next one's gonna be Haunter 70 HP second type Pokemon stage 1 has hypnosis one psychic energy you get to put your opponent to sleep you've also got dream eater one psychic one colorless if your opponent is not asleep this attack does nothing but if it is asleep you're gonna do 80 damage so that's not terrible but sleep is a very unreliable uh, status because you get two by the time Haunter would be able to attack it gets two coin flips and there's a possibility that's gonna wake up so I would hope in, in a natural deck you would probably want to run this with like a uh, hypno with min, uh, goodnight babies or whatever it was called <laughs> that ability that puts everybody to sleep next up is coughing psychic type Pokemon 60 HP with foul gas Two colorless, or er, sorry, two psychic energy is what's going to cost for 10 damage. Flip a coin if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. If tails, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. So, one psychic energy for 10 damage, and one psychic energy for a potential status effect. That's not really strong. So, I don't know if I feel great about these ones. And you gotta remember, that's three. Count them three so far non-complete lines so I don't know how well we're gonna do here and we haven't even hit the other type yet next up we have the big the bold the Nido, the king 150 HP psychic type Pokemon has rumble one psychic one colors can do 40 damage the defending Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's next turn you've also got tail swing two psychic one colors 100 damage this attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon as well so that actually is a good Pokemon to try and set him up into only problem is there's only one Nido King so the likelihood of it ever getting prized well there goes your strategy for that one Mewtwo is your, or sorry, Nidoking currently is your highest damaging output, and that is not saying much, because again, 100 damage is not a lot, again, doing bench damage is good, but you're doing a maximum of 140, so I don't know, his break is worth it, but obviously his break's not worth it in here. Uh, next up we have Dugtrio, starting our ground type, or well, our fighting type uh, side of the deck. Dictrio has 90 HP, fighting type Pokemon, slash, two colorless energy is going to cost you for 40 damage. So a little better than some other stuff, a little bit of damage. You've also got Earthquake, that costs you three fighting energy, 130 damage. This attack does 20 damage to each of your, your bench mods. So, this guy's got the highest damage output, for sure. 130 HP is a lot. It'll knock out pretty much everything in this deck. However, you do have to damage yourself to use it. So, is it worthwhile? Is it not worthwhile? I'm about to find out. Uh, next up, we have the infamous Hitmonchan, 90 HP. With that jab for one fighting energy, it's going to cost you... Th it'll do 30 damage, which is actually really strong. In, in the old format of the game, jab was really, really good. And then you've got two fighting, one colors for special punch, which will get you 90 damage which will instantly knock out a Hitmonchan. Unfortunately, the, the HPs and stuff are not really still matched with current standard day cards, so it's we're going to see if it works out. Uh, next up, our next incomplete line is Machoke, 90 HP fighting type Pokemon with Karate Chop 
for, uh, cost you two psychic energy. Er, to fighting energy, the stack does 60 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if you're at 10 HP left, you're no point in using Karate Chop because you're not doing any damage. You've also got Submission. Three fighting energy is going to cost you for 80 damage. Uh, the stack does 20 damage to yourself. So every time you use Submission, you get yourself a little weaker. It means you can't use Karate Chop. And yeah, I don't know if this card is going to be great right now. But we're going to have to give it a go. Next up is Onyx, 100 HP, fighting type Pokemon with Harden for one energy, or er, for one fighting energy. Doing that a lot today's episode. Uh, during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon would be damaged by an attack, prevent that attack's damage to this Pokemon if that damage is 60 or less. So, in this format, that actually is a really good attack. In regular play, don't use it. This card's not, this is a throwaway. Next up, you have Rock Throw, 2 Fighting Energy, 40 damage. Again, no damage output, no nothing. So Onyx is just kind of a waste paper bag for that. Next up, and our final Pokemon is Sand Shrew, 60 HP Fighting Type Pokemon. With Sand Attack for 1 Fighting Energy, you're going to get 10 damage if the defending Pokemon tries to attack you during your next turn. Your opponent flips a coin. If Heads, great. If Tails, they don't do anything. So, I think we're going to have the same problem Pokemon-wise as we did with Pikachu Power. They tried to fit way too many Pokemon into the deck, and I think it's going to cost it a lot. That being said, though, we're going to see how it goes, see how it runs. Now, let's look at the trainers real quick. Uh, we have one Energy Retrieval. Put two basic energies from your discard pile into your hand, so if someone goes down, we can at least get those energies back. Uh, we have a Great Ball, which is way better than Pokeball. Uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. So I'll the car other cards back into your deck. Which, we have a Pokeball. Flip a coin if head. Search your deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Beautiful. So we've at least got a couple ball options. Uh, we have a Potion. Heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Uh, we have a couple Professor's Letters. Search your deck for up to two basic energies. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. Uh, these are great to get yourself boosting a little bit and maybe not draw those energies that you don't want while you need something else. Uh, you got a couple Switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we have the Pokemon Fan Club. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So ideally it is a Professor's Letter, but for supporting and for Pokemon better I like it it's a good supporter now we have our brand new supporter for this deck that is Professor Oak's hint draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand your turn does end though at the end of this at the end of using this card there we go uh, so it, we'll see how it is again I, I believe I left a call or I left a thing in the in the last episode asking you guys what did you guys think of that card do you guys like it do you guys not if you didn't get to see that episode make sure to leave your comments here because I like to see what you guys have to say whether or not you believe that card is going to be fantastic I know tropical beach was huge for a long period of time but it was a stadium you didn't have to use your supporter for it so we'll see how it goes next up is Tierno drawing you three cards like a champion he is and lastly to round out this deck we've got nine fighting and nine psychic energies. So that is the deck. What is your personal opinions before even seeing the matches? Are you gonna buy this deck? Are you not gonna buy this deck? Are you gonna at least give it an attempt? Are you gonna wait and see how I play it out and see if it's worth buying? Either way, we're gonna get ourselves into a few matches here. This is a best two of three scenario. If we win two in a row, that is awesome. If we lose two in a row, well, that's not so awesome. And if we go into three matches, you know we're going to have a long episode. So, without any further ado, let's get ourselves into some matches and get this episode underway. Alright guys, we're getting into our first match here, and we're going up against Stellard using the Pikachu Meowth deck. Um, I believe that was the starter deck prior to Crushing Current. Uh, so we get to see our good old Purple Chansey go in here in action. Here we go, Tails! Yes, we're going to go first here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's what we want to see. Now we start ourselves with... Oh, this is... This is a no good. Uh, we're going to start off with the Sand Shrew because we do have a Fighting Energy in back. And I'll drop the other three. I want to get a Mewtwo out as soon as I can, though. Uh, Mewtwo is going to be our big old power hitter for later game. I hope. Uh, that is going to be all. Your opponent gets to select their side. I love using the OG cards. I wish, like, I would love to do a format 
where it was just this set where we had to play from and see how well people could build from just using the cards in that particular block. Uh, there'd be a couple extensions, like some trainers, obviously. Uh, we are going to drop down the Fighting Energy onto the Sand Shrew. We're going to go for a Great Ball, hoping to get something, man. Me nope. I can get the Dug Trio. Dug Trio is always good. At least I'll get an evolution off here, and I'm going to get some Fighting Energy, because that is definitely what we need right now. And that way I don't get to draw them next turn. So we go on. We're going to see this Farfetch. She's going to hit us for 30. That is a lot of damage, because he's going to be able to two-shot me. And he resists my attacks. Oh, boy. Gets a... Gets a heads on the roller skates, so he does get three more cards, and then Tyranos for another three. He's got a lot of cards to choose from now, and that is a very scary uh, thing to see in theme deck format. Goes for the slash though against Sandshrew, so I take 30. Uh, we are going to start setting up our Diglett. I'll be able to get a slash off with the Doug Trio, and we're going to go for a sand attack. I'm not going to be able to do any damage, but the effect is there. Throw some sand into his face. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Don't hit me! It is a bird though, so it's it's got some keen eyes. It's it's able to uh, probably see through it. Um, another Tyranno. So this guy has got all sorts of options. Gets a great ball for himself, so he gets to look at the top seven cards. Grabs a Pikachu for that good old bench of his. And this is when things start to go awry, because this is going to be a very scary. Now, we do have advantage, technically, as long as we can get rid of this Farfetch, but there's a Muscle Band now in that Pikachu, so I doubt it. Oh, boy! I could have actually gone into the Onyx and protected myself, but down goes my Sandshrew. Uh, we're going to post... See, I don't want to put that up there. We're going to put Onyx up here. We do get a tier enough for ourselves. So we get a couple additional cards, but nothing really to warrant us to, uh, you know, help us out. Uh, we're going to put another Fighting Energy onto our Dug Trio. Hope that we can use that Dug Trio to our advantage here, but that is about it. We can't do much else. Whew. Now, Dug Trio can come through for us. If I can get it set up. Now my opponent should have a Raichu if he's going all out, which he does through the Eva Soda. Uh, he'll be able to search for that Raichu, and unless it's prized, he's going to have Raichu on the bench. It's prized! Oh no! Oh no! He gets him an Ectric instead. That's not good. He's wasted all that energy and resources on Pikachu. Goes for a Slash on the Onix. And if I can get a Fighting Energy anytime soon, that would be great. We get a Nidoran. I'm not using up any of these Pokemon. I'm just going to pass the turn. I need another Fighting Energy. Energy drop onto the Manectric. We see a Slash. We get a Machoke. This is not helping our situation here. I can go for slashes, but Farfetch literally walls me. As much as that sounds weird, it literally walls me because I can't hit it. I do 10 damage unless I get the Earthquake. Then I at least do a little bit more. Uh, but we are going to lose our Onyx next turn. And we keep drawing Machokes. <laughs> okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I'm going to pass another turn. If I could get the Nidorino and some Psychic Energy. Like, energy is so crucial right now, and I don't have any. There's a Drudagon. It's going to stop us again. I don't like the ability of Rough Skin. I, don't get me wrong, I think it's a fantastic ability. Um, but I don't like the fact that we're going to be doing damage to ourselves for it. Uh, goes for a slash. This Farfetch is literally eating my team alive, and there's nothing I can do about it. So we're going to send up our Haunter, because as much as I, I don't want to waste my Dug Trio right now. Professor's Letter. Beautiful. I can put it to sleep. I can grab a Fighting Energy. I use the Psychic Energy first, so I can stall out a little bit more. Uh, there we go. And we're going to put you to sleep. There we go. 
You stay asleep. Thank you. A little bit of stalling is all I ask. A lot. It's all I ask. But now I can at least set up the Dugtrio for Earthquake. My poor Nidoran's not gonna like it. You're going for an escape room. I'm gonna go out into my Nidoran. So you're still gonna get an attack off. You're gonna go into your Manectric, which if you can knock me out, I will be gracious because my Dugtrio is gonna come out and eat you alive with an Earthquake. I do resist the Earthquake from Haunter, so I do believe it's only 20. Yeah, so Haunter will not be affected. So Farfetch is back out in the active position. This is not cool. And I'm stuck in here. So he's gonna get a third prize. We're gonna call done. I've got way too many Pokemon. Way too many Pokemon. Way too many different Pokemon. I don't need to put all these Pokemon on my bench. The Drudagon is also almost fully set up. Uh, my Nidoran does go down here, so I am down to. Th my opponent has three prizes left. Uh, I have to go into Dugtrio right now. And being as. Oh, now I get the Nidorino. You see, now I would have had a fantastic line right there. But, I do have to go for this Earthquake. Uh, never mind, the Haunter does still take the damage. But at least down goes Farfetch'd. I'm not going to get completely swept here. Yet. No Mewtwo's yet to be found. I do need a Nidoran to get going, though. Uh, this Pikachu is now finally a Raichu. I don't know how. Oh, he got it from a prize card. Adore. So he's going to be able to Electro Ball me, which will do 100 damage, which will completely knock me out. Ground type. Why did you not get a resistance to electricity? You're our ground type. Down goes Dugtrio. We are into Haunter right now, and we are having the most utmost of fun. Uh, we can potion up. Combos are here. None of these Pokemon that I currently have basics for are worthwhile. Ghastly is only going to go into a Haunter. Diglett, I think I got rid of my only Dugtrio. Coughing doesn't evolve. Uh, Onyx doesn't evolve. So, I don't need any of these cards. I have to put you to sleep. And you wake up. That is going to be game. Good game. Good game. This is a good game. This is a good, good game. Energy drop on the Farfetch as Raichu decides to take us out for the first match. So we are currently 0 and 1 in this big old match today. Question is, are we going to be able to go at least 1 and like, can we win to next match? Let's let's see what you guys have to say. Are we going to win this next one? Because right now, quite frankly, I don't see it. Hey, we knocked out a Pokemon for our thing. Anyway, I'll catch you guys right back here after this clip. Alright, guys, we're going to game number two. Chick Dino is our opponent playing the grass uh, fighting Zygarde themed deck. So this is going to be kind of awesome to see. Uh, we are losing the coin toss though, so my opponent will most likely go first, as they do. As they do. And we start ourselves actually with a decent hand. Well, kind of decent hand. We have some supporters. We have some energy. We actually aren't... We're not too bad. Get ourselves all set up here. Now the question is, what does my opponent have in front? What do they have to take us out? Because I don't think... I think Zygarde naturally does less damage than our... Like, has a lower damage output, but is easier to set up. Has a Riolu. Okay, I don't think that evolves. So, we're okay there. Has a Zygarde on the bench, drops the Zygarde... Or, energy onto the Zygarde, and passes the turn. Uh, so, we are going to go with the energy. I'm going to grab two Psychic. Simply because we are using good old Nidoran gonna drop one of those right down there and go for the Tierno. No Nido King, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting it right off. Let's just fill our bench up because we're okay. Gonna go for this double kick, get to flip two coins. Can we do 20 damage? No. No, we do not. 
do no damage at all, actually. So this will probably be another end turn. Oh, he goes for the switch! He's actually going to try and take me out right now. Rumble is going to do 30 damage. And what happens? I can't retreat. Well, I'm not planning on it. <sighs> what am I talking about? This thing does... It literally has Earthquake on it. So, my problem is, is I can only do 20 damage to this thing. I might as well try and set something else up in the meantime, because my Nidorino is going to go down. Or I could swap it out, go into Onyx. That's my better play. Swap it out into Onyx and go for Hardens. And stall out. So at least his Rumble isn't going to damage me. And Geo Strike only does half. Does it only do half? Or does it not do anything? No. So if he's got an energy and he goes for the Geo Strike, my Onyx still will go down. He goes for the damage. I can't retreat, but that's okay. Uh, I can go into my Nidorino now, and I'm just going to keep on clicking Harden. I have no other energy, I have no other resources, I'm stuck in here, but Onyx's Harden will at least keep me going. Now, that I'm just literally waiting for my opponent to get an energy though, and that way he will do a ton of damage to me. Gets the grass energy that he needs. Down goes Onyx. Down goes Onyx. I'm gonna sacrifice Miss Andrew. I need an energy and I need a Neo King. I get Ghastly. I don't get either. I've got one basic energy in there. This this is not working out for me. Oh boy. And these these guys have got enough enough damage to not worry about anything. I need, I need a better option here. Done. I could have attached that to Sandshrew, but I would have lost it again. Nido King is literally my only option right now. It is literally my only option. Goes for the Geo Strike to take me out. Does ten more damage to each of his Pokemon, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna go out into Ghastly, because I have no reason to go into my Nido Reno yet. Pokemon Fan Club, I can grab a Mewtwo. At least it will showcase in this episode. And I can grab a Hitmonchan. The two actual decent cards I have not drawn at all today, so I'm at least gonna put them on the bench. Bam. And bam. But unfortunately, Ghastly here is just gonna get Mollywhopped. I don't think there's enough energy in this deck, to be honest with you. 18 does seem like is it is really high, but when you have to balance it out with all these Pokemon, I just we're not getting enough. Like you look at my opponent's side now, he's only got three as well. Don't get me wrong, but he's gonna Wally. He's gonna Wally and get what Lucario. I apologize, Lucario does evolve into the other Lucario that was in that set, the Fighting One with Beatdown and Magnum Kick. Now he's working on that Magnum Kick. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Rumble is resisted. He wants me around. Either way, you're going to be taking a while if you're going to go with Rumbles. I do resist. So you may want to Geostrike to take out this Ghastly. And I'll be putting up the Haunter next too. I need to defend myself as best I can. Um, unfortunately, none of my Pokemon really do a lot of damage. Get a psychic energy. Uh, we can set up Mewtwo. I could have set that up as a destiny bond, but 
I'd be sacrificing an energy, and it's they're way too crucial right now. Another rumble, which means my ghastly is gonna go down next turn. Ah, uh, this is like a perfect. This is this is end game to all game. Still nothing. We've got our energies now, which is great. But I'm looking for that Neo King. It's the only saving grace we have, and we're not gonna get it. And that 30 damage on the Nidorino does not help. Energy drop onto the Lucario in the back. Goes for the Rumble, down goes my Ghastly. So it is going to be a 3 prize deficit. I don't know if I can take out Zygarde. We're going to bring up Mewtwo though. We're going to get some damage off on this thing. Actually, I should be able to survive one Geo Strike. So we are going to... We're going to go for the Psychic, and I'm going to set up that Hitmonchan. Because I can at least one punch after with the good old jab. Uh, this Lucario is also fully set up now. Goes for a potion onto the Zygarde. Not that I would... I don't think that's going to save you. Not going to save you. Because 8 and 5 is still 130, which is still higher than what you currently have. So that might have been a waste of a potion. I would have healed up your Lucario in the back as a secondary attacker. So Rumble is going to do 30 damage. I don't know what you're doing right now. You could have taken me out easily. Easily. Uh, I am going to take out your Zagard right now. And I have attackers now, which is really weird. Like, my opponent had full advantage here. He could take out my entire team and had no, no need to set me up. Whereas now he let me set me up. Uh, Magnum Kick does 70. Uh, I get to do 80 damage to you in your Psychic Week, so... Huh. You're letting me win. Because I take out your Lucario right now. It's 160 damage. I don't get this. I don't mind... I don't mind at all, because we were having such a rough start. Up comes the Deerling. Unless he thinks he can take this back even after the setbacks, but that was a huge setback. Like, you lost six you lost six energy, you lost all sorts of things. If he gets it, he gets a Snivy. Does he have Superior in this line as well? I forget. It's been a while since I played those decks. Uh, we're going to grab the energies so we do not draw them. And is Nido King? Yes, Nido King is actually in here, guys. So if I can pull Nido King, this would be fantastic. So that's two cards less that I have to draw to actually obtain Nido King. But we're going to just continue to set up our Hitmonchan in the back. And I'm going for a Psychic, which will do 40 damage, which will knock you out. So we get another fighting energy. Up comes Shackle. No energy, so we're doing 20 damage. Out comes Snivy, out comes Larvitar. This game just completely flipped. Like, now we're in the advantage. I don't know why he would do this. I'm not mad! Uh, I can set up another... I'm gonna completely set up another Nidorino. And then I can use this one to actually attack. Uh, we're going to go for a Psychic. This is a weird deck. As in, like, not weird deck, weird weird instance. Because let's let's be honest here, guys. That Psychic ate us alive. The Geostrike, Geostrike. Like, if he just kept Geostriking, he would have taken out... Excuse me. He could have taken out my Gengar, or my Ghastly, like, turn one. And just kept going. So what if your bench mods go down? You have full control, no damage on your Zygarde. Now it's like, mm, we're, we're actually making a small comeback here. Not that, again, I don't think it's worthwhile to say it's mine. I don't think it's worthwhile to say it's mine. But Mewtwo has no, uh, 
no way of attacking due to being paralyzed. So let's see what we can do. He is using a Shuckle. He has Superior up in the active spot now. Well, not in the active, but he has it ready to go. So, it's 140. We get another Zygarde. My opponent does not... This game is not over. My opponent can literally bring this back if he sets up another Zygarde. I have not drawn my Nidoking. He goes for the switch. He's going to actually take me out with the Superior, which is very strong. Coil is going to take him out. Then you can go for a Slashing Strike on whatever I bring in. Uh, at this point, I think I want to guarantee 90 damage. You get a Pokeball. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! We're bringing up Nidoking. Let's get this bad boy going. You want a Rumble Zygarde? I've got a King. I've got a Rumbling King. We're going to evolve this guy over here. Now, I am going to set up my current Hitmonchan to do the 90 damage. This way we can take care of Superior. And hopefully we'll be in range of taking out Zygarde after. Because we're going to be doing some damage to the bench as well. Due to uh, Tailswing. Hold on, does that say basic? It specifically says bench basic mods. So everything currently is a bench. Why didn't you go for the slashing strike? Well, you didn't have to. And coil still will go off in the next turn. 120? No, 140. But you're not set up with Zygarde, so let's do this. This became a much more interesting match, I'll admit. Now that we actually are getting our evolutions and everything, but... I, like I said, to me, this game was lost early game. So we're gonna go with the Tail Swing. It will take out the Superior, and it'll do 20 damage to his entire bench. We get a potion so we can heal up the Nidorino, if we want to. There's no revive in this deck, so I can't bring back Neo King. What is with these two decks? If you guys haven't checked out Pikachu Power, check that one out too. What is it with these two decks that have left me speechless? Because seriously, I should not have won that match. I should not have won that match. Should not have won that match. I don't have a problem taking it, by all means, but I should not have won that match. Without, with that being said though, we are going to go into game number three and will Mewtwo crumble or will Mewtwo succeed? So, yeah, you're going to have to stay tuned and find out. Let me know in the comments section below right now, does Mewtwo succeed or does Mewtwo fail like, uh, yeah, most of our theme decks. <laughs> we'll be back after the cut. Alright guys, final game, we're going up against People Popple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. People Popple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5! Alright, we're getting this coin toss. Here we go. Tails, as always, and it's heads. So our opponent does get to decide if they want to go first or second. I'm alright with either. It's gonna be us who goes first, which I'm good for. I'm really happy for. I'm not happy for this hand, though. I'll be 100% honest with you. I'm gonna lead my Sandshrew. I'm gonna let him go down. It's gonna be a nasty game. Ghastly, you get up there. Uh, but we have some options. We have some options here. Yeah, we have no more basics, so we're good. We're good. And it's gonna be a C- Oh, no. I don't like Seal. Seal is evil. So let's get some uh, good old Pokemon here. Get a Mewtwo. And I want to get a Nidoran. ASAP. Legit ASAP. I want to try and get these two set up. And we're going to go for Professor's Letter, getting us two Psychic Energy. One Psychic Energy, or actually three Energy of Prize. Because it's nine and nine. Uh, we're going to completely set up this Mewtwo, though. Because we can at least go for Barriers if necessary. And we're done. Next turn, I can switch out. And start doing some damage. So we see a Doduo hit the bench. A uh, Great Ball. And it's a Dugong. Now this guy needs a lot of energy to set up. 
One, one energy for 10 damage is not going to do him any good. He gets a splash energy though, which means that, that card is going back to his hand. 10 damage onto the sand true. I'm alright with that. We got Nido King! We just need a Nidorino now. And then obviously the necessary energy to set up. So we're going to go into Mewtwo here. We're going to hit switch. Go into Mewtwo. Mewtwo's at least going to get uh, 40 damage off. And we can take it out in two shots. It's got 120 HP for Dugong. So if he attaches another energy, that'll be uh, 20, 40, 60. Healing Scarf. Every time he every time he attaches an energy, he heal for 30, 20. Okay, it's not as bad, but we're not in a good position. Freezing Breath is also going to be terrible because uh, our opponent can paralyze us or put us to sleep. Either way, this is going to be broken. Either way, this is going to be broken. And it does 20 damage. Now, at that point though, he just has to get up to Aurora Beam and he'll win this game. Get some Magic Card. This one I'm alright with. This one has a little bit more fight to it for us. Magic Carp's down. Going for that freezing breath. Please don't paralyze. Alright, so we go to sleep and we don't wake up. One energy down on the Nidorino. And we're gonna click done. Now I wake up! Hey, but this turn we'll get paralyzed. This turn will get paralyzed, so he has three energies. Oh, we could have taken him out without that healing scarf. 20 damage, tails, heads, I'm paralyzed now. This is not cool. Uh, I can't use this energy on Nidoran, so it's going to go to Machop. He's going to take me out next turn, so there we go. Done. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 damage. 100 damage is 100 damage. He actually opts to drop the water energy onto the Magikarp. Come on, sleep. Wake up. Come on! Energy retrieval is the card I drop. No. And I wake up. Yay! This card's so annoying. It is so annoying. Drops the water energy onto the Dugong. Now I can go for the Aurora Beam, which takes me out. This is so annoying. 130 HP on a beast like this is stupid. It is stupid. Uh, we can drop an energy there, go for our energy retrieval, and grab both those psychic energies that we did just lose. Now we at least can try and set up Nidoran, but I need a Nidorino. It's literally my only option. And I need to get some damage off prior. Uh, good old Dual Chop will get a chance to do some damage to this thing. If I can get it to do 40 damage, if I can get it to do 40 damage, we might stand a chance. Might. Down goes the Sand Shrew. Machop, you're up. Come on, Nidorino. I need a Nidorino. I have to waste all these Psychic Energies on Nidoran because there's no other option. If I can't get the Nidorino, I'm screwed. 20 damage onto the Dugong is something. Like if I can get Tail Swinging, that thing will go and then one of these guys will probably hurt up too. So 3 energies now on the carp. Down goes Machop, it is gone. This is a sweep with Dugong. This is legit a sweep with Dugong. Come on, Nidorino. No! Oh, man. Hidden Depths is so good. Hidden Depths is so good. Like, Dugong in general. I don't care about the rest of the deck. But that particular one card is so good. Down, do down goes my Sand True. I don't have enough time now to set up. Come on, Nidorino, now! Psychic energy. Can we put you to sleep? Put him to sleep. 
put him to sleep, keep him there, he wakes up instantly! We are not meant to win this, guys. We are not meant to win this. I don't have any way of setting up now. My Haunter's gonna go down, and my Nidoran is to follow. My Nidoran is to follow, this will be the game here. There's no way a Nidorino can take out this thing. There's no way a Nidorino can take out that thing. I needed King. I needed King. I still don't even get King. We're going for a double, double stab. One. Hey, we got ten damage. Full sweep Dugong. That that card is too broken. That card is broken in theme deck format. So if you guys want a theme deck, get hidden power, uh, hidden depths. Work on it through the first trainer and play it like this guy did. Because he was a champion. A legit champion. So broken. Uh, but that is it for me, guys. I personally, my personal thought are both the evolution theme decks are a little underwhelming. Neo King had a lot of potential, but it is a stage two. And with that, it's really hard to set up. Like, I was set up. I had Nidorans each time because you got four copies of it in the deck. Couldn't get Nidorino this, the last game. I did get Nido King working one game, which theoretically won to our victory, which makes no sense because the opponent should have beaten us anyway. And then the first game, you know, just nothing worked out. So, needless to say, my overall thoughts are both decks, if you are a l lover of the original cards, buy the theme deck because you're going to love it. You can obviously enhance it the way you want to play it. But if you are looking to play theme deck format in TCGO, I would run away from these decks as fast as you can because these are not going to win you games. These are not going to get you anywhere because they are just, there's no power behind them. Mewtwo is the star of this deck and he did a whopping 40 damage. 60. 40? 60. No, he did 40. Because Dugong was able to evolve and yeah, so he got 40 damage off. Either way. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your opinions. Do you guys enjoy the Evolution theme decks, or are you guys in the same boat as I am, and they're just they're just not that great? Uh, but that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have yourselves a great day. Time out.